Imagine staying in an ancient rainforest over 180 million years old, where dinosaurs used to roam. I was so excited to stay at Silky Oaks Lodge, one of the lodges under the Bailey Group, which was on the fringes of the Daintree Rainforest. So we're here now in sunny, humid Cairns and we're picking up the car now. Just a tip, you have to go to the airport first and then come and pick your car up. We drove from Cairns, which took about three hours to get there, driving alongside the Great Barrier Reef and Daintree Rainforest which was a bit longer than usual due to cyclone damage from Cyclone Jasper earlier in the year. We went during the green season, which is December to March, with hot days and nights and frequent cool showers. As soon as we got there, the first thing we realized was that we were constantly having to use a windscreen wiper because of the humidity. From what I know, there's not much you can do about this because when we asked the staff at the lodge, they said the only way you can stop the condensation forming is to keep the inside of the car the same temperature as the outside. When we checked in, a staff member drove our bags to the room on a buggy, giving us time to unwind and settle in. As our bags were being taken to the room, we got a rundown of the lodge and the facilities, as well as a confirmation of the activities we booked during our stay. It was so refreshing to get a cold towel in the hot, humid weather and even better to be able to choose a drink and snacks to dine on as we looked over the Mosman River. After that, we walked through the rain to the room so that the staff member could show us some of the amenities and functions of our room. One of the first things you notice about the room is a stunning balcony with the crochet hammock. There's a king bed that overlooks this balcony. And behind it is a bathroom that leads out into the most beautiful bathtub that you'll see. If you know me, you know I love a good bathtub. And I think I spent more times in the bathtub than I did nights that we had at the hotel. However, I did try to limit my time on the toilet because it was at an awkward spot right next to the shower. We were shown some of the things at the room stocks, including insect repellent, a mosquito coil, and citronella oil, which was much needed for our stay in the rainforest. There were also some extra bags in case we needed them during our stay. So in here, you can have anything. So all of the mini bar is restocked every day and it contains some wine, beers, soft drinks and juices, and two big bottles of water as well from Silky Oaks Lodge. Oh yeah, the snack. In here, you can have all of these snacks. You'll never go hungry here. So we've got like lollies, um, some homemade biscuits. Oh, Daintree tea as well. And then also some crackers for your cheese. There's literally just so much food here. Let's talk about some of the complimentary meals that you get during your stay. Dinner was in the Treehouse restaurant and staff always endeavored to get us a spot right next to the river so we could watch it during the night. They really didn't skimp on anything. Dinner was a full affair with bread to start and a starter before the entrees. The dishes were so good with a lot of the fresh ingredients being taken from the garden. And although the fish was our favorite, dessert was just as delicious as well. And even though I'm not a dessert person, I ate it all up. Waking up for breakfast in the mornings can sometimes be a chore, but not at Silky Oaks Lodge. There's a selection of fruits for the buffet breakfast and a la carte also has some of the classics like hollandaise eggs and bacon and egg rolls. After I had the bacon and egg roll, I really couldn't go back. So I would ask for that with a side of avocado. And this was the meal that we had most mornings. The pool is one of the first things you see on the way to reception. It's lined with rocks and surrounded by trees. And it seems almost like a natural pool. Next to the pool is a laundry room. So if you don't want to bring too much, you can wash your clothes yourself. Or alternately, you can have your laundry done for $50 by the staff. 
The Treehouse restaurant is the main area of the lodge that has a grand view of the Mossman River and it's where you have your dinner and breakfast. You book times for dinner when you have breakfast or when you first check in and the staff are really great here and know you by name and learn your dislikes and likes during your stay. Next to the Treehouse restaurant is the Jungle Perch Bar which is where you have your first welcome drinks and also evening drinks each night. The staff fill the well with ice and have a selection of wine and you can choose any cocktail or try the cocktail of the day which is made with local ingredients. Nearby is the Kuberi Lounge, also known as the library, which is an air-conditioned area that is shielded from the elements. I saw a lot of people having business meetings in here, but it's also really great for taking pictures. The gym is a small one, but pretty much has all the equipment you might need. It's air conditioned and has a beautiful view over the garden and also has water and towels stocked inside it. The gardens are lush and very organized. You can see all of the plants in silos and you can even see some ingredients that are used during your dinner or your breakfast. On the way back to reception near the pool, there is an area where the pathway widens and there are many white butterflies flying around. I'm a bit of a sucker for retail shopping and so of course I had to check out their store near the reception. They stocked a lot of the goods that they had in the hotel room as well as some essentials like bug spray and insect bite ointment. We did yoga one of the mornings that we were there and the pavilion that we did it in was stunning. It overlooked the Mosman River and I felt a great sense of peace as soon as I walked in. Not many people had signed up for early morning yoga, so luckily we were the only ones there. Our yoga instructor Erin was really enthusiastic and spent a lot of time helping us fix our technique. At the end, she even helped us take some couple photos by arranging us in various poses. I have to say this was probably one of my favourite yoga classes I've ever done. There are steps next to the yoga pavilion that lead down to the riverfront where you can sit on some of the deck chairs or you can use some of the tubes to float in the river. The river height might change depending on the season and weather events. On the last day we did a massage and mud bath. It was amazingly relaxing even after a few days of staying in the rainforest and exactly what we needed before we headed home. Thank you for watching my video today. If you have any other questions about Silky Oaks Lodge or staying in Daintree, please don't hesitate to reach out. This is also my first video doing a hotel review, so please feel free to leave any feedback for me as well. If this video was helpful, please leave a like to support me. And if you're keen to follow my adventures, I'm going to be taking you to the best udon restaurant in Cairns next time.